Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a quick safety check on your cage drum, which you'd be pleased you've done, and a simple solution. This tip was passed on to me, and I'm really pleased to be in a position to pass it on to you. Alarmingly, when this was brought to my attention and I checked my car, I had found that mine had suffered this failure. The front brake pads on many of the Catrum calipers are held in place with two retaining pins. And to keep the pins in place and to stop them from sliding through, there's an R-clip located in one end. However, these R-clips can work themselves loose and free, potentially leaving the pin able to slide right out. The, the thought of what could happen then if you've got a, a pad uh, able to kind of move or even worse, come free of the caliper, just isn't worth thinking about. The solution is really quite simple. Instead of the R-clips, what we're gonna do is use safety retaining wire to hold those pins in place. Let's pop into the garage and I'll show you exactly how to do this. The gauge of the stainless steel safety lock wire I use is 0.81 millimeters. You will also need these safety lock wire pliers. I'll pop a link in the description below for both of these items. I bought from Demon Tweaks, although these items are widely available. Remove the R-clips with long nose pliers. Cut a piece of safety wire and feed it through the hole of the top pin so the wire is halfway through. Complete a twist of the wire close to the eye on the pin. Using the bottom pin as a guide, lock the pliers in place on the wire. Pulling the pliers will twist the wire. Now feed one piece of the wire through the eye of the bottom pin and repeat the process. Trim the wire leaving approximately one to two centimeters of the twisted wire in place. As you can see, a simple solution to potentially a dangerous problem and also an excuse to treat yourself to some of those fancy pliers if you don't have some already. Over the coming weeks, I have a list of other things to check on a Catrum, which you may not have considered before to help keep you safe, whether on the road or out on track. Are there any top tips you have for things to check on a Catrum, which may not have been considered? If so, please do drop a comment below. Not only will I find that helpful, but so will the other viewers of this channel. And who knows, it might even be made into a video just like this one. Of course, I do have the spanner check video, which shows all of the checks I complete before taking my car out on track. This video has proven to be very popular and I'll add a link in the description below. If you check your R clips and find one to be missing, please do let me know in the comments. If you've not done so already, it'd be great if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where lots of similar content is always being added. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for more top tips.